Would you just sign something? Just for, for my mother. She's loved you for years. She's not even going to believe that I'm here. Make sure I want to just sign it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dear Sally, I'm afraid your secretary doesn't realize her place. She doesn't understand that I am much more than a fan. I am a friend, and I am someone you can turn to in times of distress. And even more than that, it has taken me a long time to say this, but I know the time is now right. We will be lovers very soon, my darling. And believe me, I have all the necessary equipment to make you very, very happy. Anything else? What am I doing tonight? I thought you said you wanted to crash. No, there's nothing else, except you got a really raunchy letter from that weird old fan I tried to tell you about. Now I know why I haven't heard from you. Your secretary has been intercepting my letters. Obviously, she is jealous of our relationship. Her possessiveness worries me. Has it occurred to you that she might have lesbian tendencies? Miss Goldman? Douglas what? Douglas A, Douglas B, Douglas C. I, I have a good memory. I think maybe I'm just blocking it out. And that and the fact that by the time I really started paying attention to him, he quit signing his last name. Yes, I understand. Douglas what? Airbags. Dearest darling, once more I have proven my love. I am ready to do it again and again. You know that. But still you refuse to acknowledge me. Still you seem to delight in tormenting your one true champion. This is sadistic and insane. Be warned, there's a limit to my patience. I expect a letter tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sally. What are you?
Dear Sally, this is the only way I can atone for the pain I have caused you. Now, my dearest, you are free. Let my burning body be a monument to the great love that might have been. All my love, Douglas. <laughs>